Bonjour! Let's talk about life lessons. But not just any life lessons. No. Serious face. I'm talking about the one life lesson that will never be outdated, underused or overridden. The one life lesson that has consistently saved me from the most boring, awkward and confusing situations. The nod and smile. So much more effective than the bend and snap. Okay, Elle Woods. So the bend and snap may get you the date, but the nod and smile will get you through the date. Didn't think of that, did ya? Ha, huh, you Harvard graduates. Now, I don't know quite who taught me the nod and smile, but I'm guessing that like many of you, it was probably first suggested to me as a joke. It's okay, just nod and smile. And of course, at the time, I laughed. Ah, 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 yes, yes. Good one, good one. <laughs> but secretly, I was thinking, such vision, such distinction. And little did that person know that they would change my life forever. Even if it was the only memorable thing they did, because I can't remember them. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know the nod and smile, come out from under that rock. Here's a little breakdown of what we're dealing with. Step one. Fix your eyebrows appropriately to look interested. Step two, nod to show responsiveness. Step three, smile to show understanding. Boys, I understand this might take you a little longer to master because you, you know, have trouble doing more than one thing at a time. Now, this technique may seem small and insignificant, but it's surprising how often you will use it. And I mean, like, every day. For instance, during a conversation with the classic mumbler, or Neanderthal, if you want to get technical. Now, often you'll find the Neanderthal doesn't say much anyway. But when he does start talking, you want to show instant engagement so that you can coax him to continue talking. Don't ever ask the Neanderthal to repeat themselves or you'll lose them completely. This is where the nod and smile comes in. Just make sure that you look absolutely riveted. You can even throw in one of those. Mm. 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 Just for extra effect. Now, if you don't know any Neanderthals, that's okay, you're off the hook there. But you'll encounter the nod and smile elsewhere. Another more common place for us to experience the nod and smile is in loud bars and clubs. If the nod and smile was a world record, then loud bars and clubs would win every year. There comes a point in every bar slash club conversation where you have misheard the sentence so many times that you would actually be considered mentally retarded if you asked What? <laughs> Sorry? Pardon? <laughs> Say again? One more time. So it's at this point that the nodded smile becomes your best friend. You get to have a bit more fun with this one because there's music playing. You can make it look more casual, like you're taking in the ambience. And if there's any laughter happening around you, it's more than acceptable to throw in a laugh as well. Even if what they're saying isn't really funny, this is a safe situation because everyone's laughing so you don't look like a psychopathic person with voices in your head. The voices. Why do they stay? <laughs> <laughs> However, when it comes to the nod and smile, laugh with caution. I say this only because you don't know what they're saying. So therefore, you run the risk of laughing at something depressing and possibly offending them. Yeah, so my grandma died, so I'm a bit sad. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> now, the way to avoid offending someone with a nod and smile, pay attention. Here comes the important part. Use all of that energy you would normally use listening to them to study their facial expressions and body language. 
Chances are they're not going to look overjoyed if they've just been fired from their job. Unless it was at McDonald's. Slave drivers. Also, on that note, if you're doing the nod and smile in a conversation with someone who's boring you, please try and avoid the following things. Sighing and heavy exhaling. <sighs> Looking everywhere but in their eyes. Or pulling random hairs off your body. Nod and smile is a faultless technique, but not if you give yourself away. You've got to dedicate yourself to total and complete pretense. Feigning listening involves all the same characteristics as real listening, except for the hearing part. You don't want to lapse concentration and be caught in one of these. Anyway, that's what I think about Tony Abbott. But, um, what's your opinion? Hmm. Hmm, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Why are you nodding vigorously? No, yep, yeah, no, I get it. Mm. You're right, you're totally right. Security. Not fun for anyone involved. Anyway, I think I've given you enough to think about for one video. I'm just gonna go back to pretending to study now. If only you could pretend to study like you pretend to listen. Like the only thing in life that nodding and smiling doesn't work for. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> ha 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 ha